This video is for the admins of Microsoft Learning Pathways so you can understand how end users will see your site. Now there's another video which in which I talk about exactly what you want to do to initially configure the site before you roll it out and then also how to roll it out. For example, you want to make sure they don't see the admin success center button over here nor the stuff that they don't, uh, you know, there's nothing. If there's no content, you want to erase and take some of the stuff away. Similarly, if there's a uh, these menu items like learning pathways administration you don't want them to go there if they click on it what's going to happen it's going to tell them they don't have access to it so let's take that out okay so the other video talks about exactly how to do all that stuff but let's look at the user experience with a deployed site just the way it is right now these tiles this one this one and this one they're just going to specific playlists or recommended playlists i won't bother with that i'll just go into the microsoft 365 training this is the main uh, the, the main starting point, either this or clicking on this over here. Either way, it's going to take the user to this page. Now, this is the main jump off page, the main landing page that users will go to where they can see all the different products. They can see, uh, you probably want to take this stuff away. They don't want need to see that. But the main thing is the products, right? And even with the products, the other video explained exactly how you can take away some of these uh, play, uh, some of these products over there that they should not have access to that you've not rolled out. All right, now let me go into one of them in OneDrive, for example. Okay, so when I'm in a product as a user, I see these playlists. Within these playlists, if I go into one of them here, this is an asset, basically an article, a video, whatever. Right? Now the main thing over here is how do you navigate as a user. So let me dig into that. I'm here as a user and I see this article. Great, I can zoom it. Now, how do I get to the next one? Click on next, click on next, great. One caveat here, if as a user I click on the back button, which most users do, I'm gonna go back to the main screen. That's not a good experience, unfortunately. So the users need to be trained that uh, when they're there, see I have to go all the way back now in OneDrive, like this over here. There's a next button here, and then there's a previous button there. Uh, this is almost a sub page basically within the main page. So because of that, the main back and the forward buttons for the browser will not work here. Now, similarly, let's say I, as a user, like this article quite a bit. I'm like, oh, you know what? I, I want to tell my other colleagues about it. Uh, quite naturally, what they're going to do is take the link over here in the browser and then copy this and send it to someone. Well, if they do that, let me show you. If I copy and say, okay, let's go there. Unfortunately, it won't work that way. It's just going to take them to the main page here. So there's another way of doing that. If I want to send someone to this particular article, there's something called deep linking. Here's the actual link icon right here. I click on this as a user, and I need to remember to click on copy here for this particular, uh, you know, this particular article. Then if I send this as a link to someone, they go there, they'll be able to get to that particular article. Now it looks a little bit different. If I am in that first one here that had that banner and this one, it doesn't have that banner, but it's the same article, okay? Let me go back here, get rid of this thing. Next thing let's talk about is uh, navigating in addition to next and previous, I can click on this right here. This this is the uh, toggle here, the drop down here that shows me all different assets, different articles and videos and stuff that are available. So I can go jump directly to a different one. Okay, This is a full screen right here. So now I can see a full screen without the banner. All right, let's talk about the search a little bit here. If I click on search and search for something, in this case, I'll say, how do I create an email signature? Users will use natural language like this to write that. Unfortunately, if I click on enter here, nothing will return because the search here is very rudimentary. It's just looking for specific wording, right? So if I do that, it won't work. Even if I did this email signature question mark, enter won't work. I know there's an email signature uh, asset, but I, it has to be exact in this case. So I click on this and here. So letting you know as an admin exactly what your users will be experiencing so you can make them aware. Okay, and then this search searches everything, playlist, as well, as well as assets. Okay, so if I had searched for, for example, OneDrive, which is pretty generic, there's a lot of stuff about OneDrive, lots of different assets, lots of different articles, basically, right? 
Same thing with playlists. There's a bunch of them over here. I can jump to something directly from here as a user. Okay, now navigating back and forth between the different products, different um, you know assets that are here, you go to home as a user and then you have to go back into a here we go different uh, product and then here I can see videos articles etc okay so hopefully this helps this is the user experience that your users will see you as an admin can manage this experience by taking away some of the components that you don't want the users to see and it is a SharePoint communication site you can manage a bunch of these things yourself hope this helps